Well, it looks like this company lost some employees going from December to January. In uh, December, they had 15% more employees than they did in January. Now, be careful. This does not mean that the company lost 15% of its employees going from December to January. And this is kind of the problem with percent change, is that it doesn't go in both directions. Just as a quick example to illustrate that, if you gained 25%, you'd have to lose only 20% to get back to your starting point. So I think the best way to deal with a situation like this is to build a ratio table. So you'd have December and January. And since December has 15% more than January does, we'll call January the 100 and December will be the 115. You should always apply the 100 ratio units to the thing that comes after the word than or after the word of or after the word as. In other words, at the end of the sentence, whichever comes there, in this case that would be January, right? Because it says December had 15% more than January. So January gets the 100 ratio units, December would be 115. And now we can reduce this ratio to the smallest integers that fit. They do have a common factor of 5, so we'll call this 23 to 20. So December to January is 23 to 20. As we read on, we find out that December was 460 people. So if 23 ratio units are 460, that means that each ratio unit is 20. And the way to get there is to just divide the actual number by the number of ratio units that represent that number. So in this case, that's a scale factor of 20. And now we can apply that to January because that's what the question is interested in. January has 20 ratio units. Multiply that by 20 and you get the correct answer, which is 400. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.